Today on MTG Unpacked, a Johnny has turned into a goblin and I don't know what to do. But maybe we can get him to do some pack blessings for us today because we have a patron. We must crack the packs for, that is Slycor01. Thank you for being a patron, sir. So he requested two packs of Guilds of Ravnica and two packs of Ravnica Allegiance. And the pack blesser was unspecified, so hopefully... Ajani will get us the crazy pulls we need, or I should say Ajani as a goblin. Let's get cracking here, and hopefully his goblinization has not led to him hosing us. We shall see. All right, let's get started here with Impassioned Orator, Humungulus, the Humunculus. <laughs> Gravel hide goblin creature goblin shaman two one for two mana pay three and a forest and gravel hide goblin gets plus two plus two until end of turn and for you new viewers of the channel you're like what on earth just happened there well you see I have a thing for goblins so much so that there will be a new series about goblins coming to the channel soon we'll be going goblin hunting so stay tuned for that one of the many eccentricities on this channel, as you may have noticed. Next we have a Noxious Grudian with Death Touch. Wonderful, charming beast, stony strength. Get the point. <laughs> it's a catacomb croc, he'll bite your arm off. Watch out, 3-7 for 5 mana. Don't go into the catacombs at night, I'm warning you. This thing will be down there waiting. Looks a little hungry. Not much to eat down there. Maybe some odd rat colonies or two, but you have been warned. Chillbringer. Rubble reading. Screaming shield! Okay, so that is the first of the Uncommons Wilderness Reclamation. There is a decent pool. Let's put that one aside. And incidentally, Slycor01 will be getting the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. So I think that one definitely fits into that category. Next, we have Code of Constraint. And the rare is Tome of the Guild Pact. It's an artifact for five. Whenever you cast a multicolored spell, draw a card and tap, add one mana of any color. And, ooh, a foil, Ors of Locket. Look at that sparkle. And a Rakdos Guildgate, which is the best guild. Leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree. And a Sphinx token. And these things are so bizarre. I will never get over that weirdness. Alright. Next we have Guilds of Ravnica. Let's see what we get here. We have a radical idea that Ajani will get us some great pulls. And apparently... Ajani's goblinization has led to us pulling all the goblins because we have a goblin locksmith creature goblin rogue 2 1 for 2 mana Whenever goblin locksmith attacks creatures with defender can't block this turn and I'm gonna lose my voice I swear Ajani curse you Loxodon restorer crawl foragers Burglar rat yes we love the rats as well Samala woodshaper Devious Cover-Up, Rhizome Lurcher, Sky Knight Legionnaire, Dark Blade Agent, and a Goblin Creature Maker, Creature Goblin Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 2 mana, pay 1, sack him, choose 1, he either deals 2 damage to target creature or destroy target colorless non-land permanent. And Ajani was not kidding about the goblins apparently, True Fire Captain, Flight of the Equinauts, and the rare is actually a mythic Doom Whisperer. That's a nice pull. Creature, Nightmare Demon, 6645, mana with flying and trample, pay two life, surveil two. So look at the top two cards of your library, then put any number of them into your graveyard and rest on top of your library in any order. Look at that fearsome beast. The stuff of nightmares indeed. Boros, Guildgate, and an Elf Knight token. Alright, so let's see, get my ordering there. Okay, Ravnica Allegiance. I don't think there were quite as many goblins in here, so maybe my voice will get a bit of a rest, or maybe my thoughts will collapse. 
perhaps, as yours have. Oh, I was mistaken. It's a spear, spewer, creature, goblin, warrior, zero, two for a single mountain has defended tap and it deals one damage to each player. All oh, the goblins, I'm not even kidding, Footlight Fiend, Rampaging, Rendhorn, Grasping Thrall. And if you ended what, ever wondered what a Thrall was, there you go, that is one of the flying variety. Skitter Eel, Fish Crab. And I'm getting a little hungry, so some seafood would be good for dinner, I think. Debtor's Transport, or maybe breakfast, depending on whenever you're viewing this. Orzov Locket, Frenzied Aranx, Gruel Locket. And for the uncommons here, we have a Borat Clan Crusher. Cult Guild Mage, Jace, you're a puppet. Get used to it, Jace. Tower Defense. And rare is Zagana Utopian Speaker, legendary creature, merfolk wizard, 4-4 four, four for 4 mana. When it enters the battlefield, if you control another creature with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it, draw a card. Has 4, a forest, and an island at 4, so if this creature has no plus 1, plus 1 counters on it, put 4, plus 1, plus 1 counters on it. And each creature you control with a plus 1, plus 1 counter on it has trample, and I believe plus 1, plus 1 counters are a theme with this card, so that's probably something you would want to be building around. Gruel Guildgate and a Centaur token. Alrighty. Last pack to crack here. Guilds of Ravnica. Ajani, I swear if you give me any more goblins, I'm going to send you to the Planeswalker Exile Zone. Next up we have a Wishcoin Crab. Sure Strike. Righteous Blow. Vidalcan Mesmerist, Portcullis Vine, never happened. Ajani is hoping the goblins never happened, but I've got news for him. Selesnia Locket, watch it in the mist. Pause for reflection and watch some empty GM pack videos. There you go. Rosemane Centaur. And for the uncommons, we have a Rock Charger. Crawl Swarm, Insect Warrior. Disinformation Campaign, and the rare is Mausoleum Secrets. I do not remember seeing this card very much. That is pretty cool. Instant for two. Has Undergrowth, so search your library for a black card with convert mana cost less than or equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Reveal it. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Okay, there we go. And a Selesnia Guildgate. And an Elf Knight token. Alright, so let's go through my picks today. Um, pretty easy choice today in the rare slash mythic slot. That is the Doom Whisperer. There he is. Doom Whisperer, look at all those arms. I think there's a bit of a problem there. He's got far too many arms, okay. And for the uncommons, um, let's, ooh, that's amusing. The Jace Puppet thing, we've looked at the Goblin. Let's, I actually wanna take a look at this guy, this um, Crawl Swarm. Creature Insect Warrior, say 4-1. For 5 mana, has flying, pay 2, and a swamp, discard a creature card, and return Crawl Swarm from your graveyard to your hand. The Hive has a long memory. It knows how every member ever died, and to whom it owes the grudge. So be careful, people. I'm just warning you, before you get out the bug spray, watch out. And for the commons, uh, we actually had that um, foil as well. Let's take a look at this one, since Ajani wishes the goblins never happened with that threat of the Planeswalker Exile Zone. So we have a sorcery for three, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. Alright, so those are my picks today, leave a note in the comments if you agree or disagree. And also if you believe that Ajani should come back, I think on the strength of this he probably should. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. 
Thanks for watching and have a great day.